Hi, you're with Chandeep and Gurli and in this video, I'm going to show you that how can you do a VLOOKUP in Power Pivot or in Power BI. Both are the same. Let's just take a look as to how do you do it. So we have uh, two tables here. The one is the sales table. The other one is the products table. And I've also named this table as sales in the table tools design tab. And this table has been named as a products table in the products tab. Now I'm going to tell you the easiest method to take the data into Power Pivot. So click on the table, go to Power Pivot and click on add to data model. And in just about a second, uh, an instance of a Power Pivot is going to open up and you can take a look that my sales has been loaded into Power Pivot. Now also whatever changes I make to my sales table, uh, they're going to reflect automatically in the Power Pivot sales uh, table right here. Let's add the another table as well. Um, Power Pivot, add to data model and the products table also go in here. Now that I've added the tables to Power Pivot, let's just take a look at the question. Now imagine what if I wanted to find out the total sales uh, by product name or I wanted to find the total sales by the category or by the type of the product. In that case, what I'll have to do is I'll have to apply a bunch of VLOOKUPs here, search for the product ID in this table and then get the relevant column number and then try to find out uh, that by using a pivot table maybe on this table. Now all of that can automatically be handled in Power Pivot. Now let's just take a look at uh, how would you do that similar operation of a VLOOKUP in Power Pivot. Now in Power Pivot, the equivalent of VLOOKUP is creating relationships, right? So if I were to write a VLOOKUP formula in my sales table right here, I assume this is Excel, and I'd write equals to VLOOKUP. Hey, I look up for the product ID, look it up in the products table and get me, let's say the price of the product, or let me, let me get the um, category or the type. Then you'd write the VLOOKUP here. Now, how would you establish a relationship between both these tables? Let me just go and show you that. So click on the diagram view right here on the top and you will see both the tables or just the column headers of both the tables. Now what you will do is you will establish a relationship. Think of relationship as a virtual VLOOKUP. So you are saying that, hey, I don't really need a VLOOKUP right away and as in don't add columns in my sales table. I'll tell you when I need it. But you just understand that the product ID here is related to the product ID here. That's what it means creating a relationship. So I'm going to create a relationship from this table, the sales table, which is my transactions table and link it up in the lookup table. Always note that relationship is going to go from your facts table. Also, let's say the transactions table where you have all the transactions and it will go and touch the same column in the lookup table. So from here, it will go there and you can see that a downwards arrow is created. And this means that the product ID here is related to the product ID here. Now, at times you would not be able to do that. And Power Pivot is going to throw you an error stating that the products, the lookup table, which is the products table has a duplicate row. That means product ID has been duplicated. So you just need to remove the duplicates. There need not be any duplicates in the lookups table and then create the relationship this way and it will work. Remember that the, uh, the relationship is going to go from uh, the transactions table to the lookup table. So arrow this way up till there. All right, it says the relationship is already there. Okay, now let's just create a pivot table. So I'm just going to uh, start a pivot table from here. It says a new sheet. Yes, let's just put it on a new sheet and I have a pivot table. Now you wouldn't have seen a pivot table uh, normally like this. You would have seen only sales, but here I not only have sales, but I also have the products. Now I can take the product from here into my rows and as of now, I don't have the sale values, but let's just take a look at the total units sold. So units putting into values and I have the sum of units. This would otherwise have been a very tedious exercise if you were doing it with the VLOOKUP. So I can pick up any item from this table and I can see any item from this table and I can cross reference them in my, in my pivot table field list. Now let's take a look at how would you calculate the total sales? So I'm just going to go back to my power pivot window and again, go to the data view Now over here. What I need to do is I need not just look up for an item, but I need to get the price of the product um, of the relevant product and multiply it with the units sold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually write a VLOOKUP formula to get the price and multiply that with the units. And that formula uh, in Power Pivot is called the related function in Excel. 
sorry related function in power pivot it's the same in power pivot it's the same in power bi so what you write is related and as soon as you write related it just accepts one input it says that hey which column do you want to use from the products table and i want to use the products price it would automatically give you the table name and the column name because i have created a relationship had i not created a relationship it wouldn't have given me this so related uh, from the products table get me the price column close the bracket and press enter what it would do is it would do a vlookup here and automatically find the the relevant uh, product there in the products table and get you the price for it this is a, an equivalent of the vlookup in power pivot press enter and you're going to get the price of every single item now i just have to multiply the price with the units to get my sales i can do that in a separate column or i can do it in a similar column as well so all that i will do is hey uh, once you have gotten the price then multiply that with the units in the sales table so i will write the table name first and then i will write that which column i want to multiply that with the units column and press enter and you have the 15 into 3 makes it 45 and you will have the number right here now, i'll call it sales i'll call it sales s a l e s press enter and as soon as i do that and i take a look at my pivot table which is back in my excel you can see that sales has now been added and i can now drop the sales in my values and i have the total sales right here with me now note that um, what I've done is I have uh, taught you uh, two things here how to create a relationship and how to write a VLOOKUP function using the related formula uh, in Power Pivot. Now, although it's not absolutely necessary, in fact, it's absolutely redundant, it's not even advisable to create a separate column for calculating sales. I was doing that just to show you how the related function works, but I'll definitely catch up uh, with you once again and I'll show you that how can you do that without creating a separate column. All right, that's how the VLOOKUP is done in Power Pivot or in Power BI. It's the exact same process in both of these softwares. Let me know if you have any questions. I've been more than happy to help you out. Thanks for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.